to the initial page here. Do you have any questions about it? Mm -hmm. I don't know anything. So okay. Well, have to are you going to go over lists? Yeah, that's why I logged right. in because it's easier. Okay. Twitter frequency kind of went over that a little bit. Does everybody know how to retweet? Okay, that's pretty no, simple. No, something with dog. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so you see something here like Sharif. Sorry, I had to leave early. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so then you just click retweet. Pink. And retweet. So now what this is doing is it's now adding his tweet to my conversation as well. So then if you go to my profile page here, it shows up right there. So that would be another great way for keeping track of articles and things like that. Yes? So if I was following you and I saw your tweet, if I just happened to be looking at my tweets, which, um, <laughs> then I could say, oh, I know Shreve too, and, and yes. conversation. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So look for. Right. Yeah. Sorry we missed you too, Retweet. Well, we'll use Sharif since he left. Yeah. We will pick on him in a little bit. Okay, so that's retweeting. Then we have the at mention function. Tony, real quick. Can you retweet on Twitter? You can't add the little note, right? Not on Twitter. You have to use like TweetDeck or something like that. Yeah. Which I prefer. Connie's going to talk about that, um, but you actually can be on there. You just have to copy and paste. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so you'll see what you're going to do is copy and then you paste it up in your message. Does it still get her little picture and things like that? Mm -hmm. It does. To so do the reply next. Okay, so then we'll go back to Sharif's message here. Okay, so then we're going to reply. you don't have to do on TweetDeck, but don't go to TweetDeck if you're new to Twitter. I would wait. Right. Just really understand Twitter itself first. So I'm replying to Sharif here, and we'll say, we will miss you. And then you just click Tweet. So that's the reply. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Did you copy what you wrote? Um, so if you're having a conversation with somebody and you want to make sure that they know exactly what you're talking about, you can hit the reply button and then copy and paste their original comment and then add your comment to the front of it so they know that you're responding to that particular comment. Because with Twitter it moves so quickly it can get lost. Although there is a new option where you can see the continuing conversation too. Um, where it'll it'll have like a little bubble on the bottom like around this area here where it'll show the the conversation so I'm just on the Sharif one here you said like a bubble on the bottom yeah I've seen it on a couple or it's just expand, expand doesn't it? it expand I think that's what I saw I clicked on expand yes mm -hmm. so let's go back can I go back? There we go. So like this one up here, just click expand. And then it just shows like somebody tweeted that. When somebody made it a favor. Made it so a favor. So if you really want to do somebody a huge favor, make it a favor. Because it stays at the top. Ah, here it is. Okay. It says view conversation. And then you just click. And then there's our conversation. So that's, that's brand new. That's just, I've noticed that in a few weeks. OK. So another great thing that they've added to Twitter is if you're going to compose a tweet, you can add your location now and a photo, which is nice. <laughs> You don't have to just paste a link and things like that. Um, I don't have any pictures to add right now, but um, let's see. We'll just do something like here at 
What is the smart group again? At the? The smart group? Yeah. Smart group, oh, um, well, it's oh, uh, Ms. Dale Dillon. Twitter, I don't want to say at. I thought smart group has. No, it's Ms. Dale Dillon. Okay. For some reason, you're not coming up. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, only the last, what is it, Connie? Only the last uh, 20 people that you've interacted with comes up. Okay. So if you haven't interacted for a while, somebody, it won't come it up. It won't come up, so that's why it's not coming up. Okay, so we'll just say here at Smart Group. And you can put a hashtag for it. Is it one word for the hashtag? Uh, it's at Smart Group AZ. I mean, hashtag Smart Group AZ. Yeah. Okay. So now we're using hashtags, which goes into the trending. And there is a website. So the hashtags kind of help group your conversations together and people talking about similar things. So um, to also search, we could type in the hashtag smart group AZ and everything about smart group comes up. Would that add to the smart group's mentions? No, I think it comes back down to, it's not the particular mentions. No, it won't add, to, it's, it's not a mention, it's a hashtag. It just helps people find you. Yeah. And it's more publicity on Twitter. Okay. Do you have to create a hashtag or they just, you just make oh, it up? You can just make it up. You can just make it up. Um, when people put that on there, they're just making it up. Yeah. I mean, sometimes there's a group of people, but sometimes not. So, right. Exactly. So one for hashtags is wefollow.com and you can actually just log in and see lists of hashtags. Um, it's slightly overwhelming and don't overthink it. It really is that simple. <laughs> so, yeah. Hashtags. H-A-S-H. -H. It's mm -hmm. just the pound sign. Yep. Okay. okay. <coughs> So okay. why don't you give Chris Porter's example of how he's used hashtags to have little classes? Hmm. <laughs> <Sorry>. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, no. Okay, it's up to you. Um, Chris <laughs> Porter would use them as um, to keep a conversation going with people. So at the end of their conversation, he'd have the hashtag at the end. So then you could just search that hashtag and you can see this entire conversation or almost like a chat done on Twitter from this simple little hashtag. It's difficult if you're not used to um, Twitter, but and you just have to get used to it. Yeah. Okay. Susan. So that's, um, okay, that's okay. That's so many words or characters. Correct. Is it characters? Characters. And how many is that? 140. And that's why there's so many abbreviations. Right. Yes. Lots of abbreviations. Um, poor grammar, words missing, and you just have to kind of, I guess, say it out loud and then sometimes you'll get it. But um, it's, it's a different way of communicating and like I said, it's very fast paced. But once you get at the hang of it, it's very simple. Um, and that just takes practice. Um, let's see, lists. Lists are fun. I have a few. Okay. So to access your list, you go to this little button up here. And Dale covered this in one of the other presentations before as well. So then you just click on lists. And it'll bring up lists that you have created. Um, and that you also follow as well. So I have a few different ones. I use Twitter for ideas for traveling and then you have my event coordinating. So if you I'll show you how to create a list, but once you create your list and you have a few people in it, if you want to see tweets just specifically to that category, you just click on your list. So all my event coordinating people are under this one here. And so everything that I've put in that list is just right there. I don't have to scroll through all the noise to see just the specifics that I want to see. This cuts down on your time if you only have like five minutes to spend on Twitter, then this is a great... Um, asset to use. So to create a list, we'll go up here. Let's look at these people. Perfect wedding guide. Um, okay, I'm not following them, so 